What's up, guys? Welcome back to All Games Mindset. We talk about dating, nutrition, fitness, health, and we're going to go over some statistics, everyone's favorite thing, about obesity now. Obesity is skyrocketing right now. It's just going insane. Everybody's getting fat. Basically, whenever I go out, I could tell that these statistics are actually true. And we're going to go over a article and dissect what's really going on and offer some advice on how we can help cure this real epidemic that we got going on. So. Yeah, so let's get into it. So... It says ob overweight and obesity statistics 2021. So a lot of this information right here is very current. So this stuff is probably within the last couple of years. Uh, let's get into it. So let's see. What is obesity? We all know what obesity is. Uh, let's not. Uh, yeah, let's not get into that. But uh, for anyone that doesn't know, body mass index, right? Body mass index of 30 or higher often indicates obesity. Um, if your waist size for, is 35 inches uh, for women, you're obese. I mean, you're over. Yeah, obese. And if you're 40 or over for men, then you're obese. Uh, okay, so again, you have tiredness, joint joint or back pain, uh, low self-esteem, low confidence, which, you know, that definitely goes hand in hand. Um, increased sweating, whatever. Um, at, on average, one out of every three adults is obese. That is concerning. <laughs> Very not concerning. Good. Which is about 36% of the population. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if they actually mean in the world, but I'm assuming it's America. Let's assume yeah. it's America. We're worried about this uh, interesting virus that's going around. But what we're not talking about in the news and everything is these obesity st statistics. It's not getting much better, especially in the past year where I think there's a different study. And it's like most people gain an average of like 10 pounds within the last year because everybody's gaining weight because a lot of people, they're still, they're still like working from home. And they're not going out as much, or they're afraid to go out. And in return, they're not getting as much exercise and stuff that they would used to be doing. And they're not eating healthy because they don't just don't have the motivation. And I think this is causing even more of an upsurge in obesity. Now, there's a lot of people that are having success stories of losing weight. And congratulations to those people. But yes. in a generation, like in a generalization, the obesity numbers are still going up. And this is not being told like national yeah. you know this is not this is not world. being put out there like yeah. in full full form like what we're doing right yeah, now people are not focusing on obesity they're, they're focusing on corona they're focusing on all the viruses going around but they're not talking about the other thing that puts people in the hospital and kills them yeah. kills them literally yeah. destroys you like it's obesity. A, it actually says it down here um i'm gonna just skip over it and we'll go back yeah so right down here it says approximately 300,000 people die from obesity in america every year how many Three hundred thousand, and and so and it's increasing because that is from that is from a study from two thousand four, so that technically would be increased to probably four hundred thousand. It's gotten a lot worse. Five hundred thousand by now. So so you got to think about it this way: if the if people have died, three hundred thousand people have died in two thousand four, like from from two thousand four, a study from two thousand four. You got to got to think about it that it probably had increased probably twofold. Oh, more. Yeah. yeah, so, like, think about it as, like, 600,000 people probably have died, at least since 2020. Yeah. Also, you know, put in the facts that, like, a lot of people who have, like, the corona, right, a lot of them were also obese. Like, you know, we can put links for that as well, which is true. Yeah. But, like, this is a really big problem, and most people, they're not awakening to this fact, and they're not taking the actions that are necessary. Yeah, exactly. Um, and let's go with... In this, it says right here, this is a study from 2019 from the uh, CDC, actually. It's the South and Midwest have the highest obesity prevalence. So, like, people who live in the South, in the South regions of the United States or in the Midwest, they have more prevalence of being obese, either by because that it's really hot, maybe they don't want to be outside so much, they want to stay in the cool air, and so they stay inside and they don't go out as much. So that's probably why they, because they don't, they're not as active, which I feel like, being in the south, being in places that are hot, I feel like being outside is like great because you know you could actually get things done, and so you would probably would be staying healthier by comparison. Uh, that's that's honestly very uh, alarming to me at least. Um, childhood obesity is is rising globally with forty three million overweight obese children under the age of five, which is that's fucking, that that's scary as hell. Not good. <laughs> no. Um, one in six children ages 2 to 19 are obese. That's from a survey from 2014. One in six from, what is that, 17 years? Uh, like, a 17-year span. So, that's one in six for, of each... So, it's one in six of people that are age 2, age 3, age 4, age 5, age 6, age 7, like an average. One in six, that's about 16% of kids 
of children ages 2 to 19 that are obese. 16%. Think about that. Think about that. That's, that's... I don't want to think about that, but it's, it's reality. It's, it's reality it's doesn't care about my feelings. It's so. reality. It says right here, if obesity is unaddressed, like if we don't do anything about it, we don't take action right now to better our lives, it says by 2030, an estimated 1 billion adults in the world will become obese. 1 billion, guys. 1 let's, billion. Let's that's that's that. one-seventh of the population. If, there's 7 billion people yeah. on, the, on the earth. If 1 billion of us are obese, that's a seventh of us. That's awful. Not to mention all the different health problems that arise when you're obese. And even overweight. A lot of, you know, insulin buildup. And there's so many different things that happen with the gut and blood flow. And there's just so many, like, unfortunate things that happen to the body if when you become o overweight and obese. And these things are not talked about too much. You'll notice a lot of the patients in these hospitals right now, they're, a lot of them are just very unhealthy and they live very unhealthy lifestyles. So luckily, we offer solutions here. Yeah, exactly. So the first thing you got to do is you need to change your lifestyle immediately. Exactly. You need to, like, we have a whole bunch of videos on the channel and I'll put them in the cards up here so you can watch all of them after this video. You need to just cha completely change your lifestyle and find new ways of not only just uh, exercise but uh, nutrition as well. You need to find better ways of eating. You don't have to do exactly what we do but you need to you know test the waters and experiment with different uh, ways of eating. Like we do you know Andrew does keto, I do carnivore. You could do you don't have to do those. You can find you can test them. You can see if they work for you and if they don't there's many other uh, types of diets out there that you can try and you know and make it a lifestyle change and, and make it permanent change in your life because if you don't and you continue eating all these bad foods and not exercising not going out not doing these things you're going to become a statistic it's yeah. it's that simple living an unhealthy lifestyle will catch up to you in the long run and you need to really be looking at what you're eating every day and how you're living are you getting enough sleep are you eating right? Are you getting a good amount of exercise per day? You need to be looking at all the factors that you do, that you implement into your daily life and start making some healthier decisions because we're starting to go, well, we've been going the wrong way. And we got to start fixing this stuff because, you know, you are not a victim. You create your own tragedy or you create your own success. So you have to be able to make healthier lifestyle choices that can equal better outcomes because everything that happens to you is because of you. So if you choose to continue going down a dark path of horrible eating habits and exercising, it's going to catch up to you and you will suffer. You're going to feel sick every day. You're going to be lightheaded all the time. Very tired. Yeah, it's just not worth You're going to have a whole living. bunch of joint pains like we talked about earlier. It said, it said a lot of it in this uh, If you article. want to feel sexy every day, you have to put in the work. Exactly. You have to do something about it. You cannot expect results to be given to you because you think you're, ent you're entitled to it. No, you have to work for what you want. You have to work for success. If you want to lose weight, if you want to lose body fat, I should say, you need to put in the work. And it's all in the nutrition when it comes to like fat loss and everything. We really need to be looking at these and paying attention. You guys need to wake up and see life for what it really is, not what you feel like you'd like it to be. Because feelings don't matter. So let's go over an example of how society is being steered the wrong way. Here is an example of the obesity epidemic going horribly, horribly wrong. So this is Lizzo. Uh, I guess a lot of people know her because she's all about that like posi body positivity stuff. Yeah, she's she's this also like a singer. She put out whatever you know. But if we yeah. people listen, women listen to her. People li listen to but her if, music. But if we dive a little bit deeper into the health aspects, uh, if women or guys or anybody were to listen to her advice, you're gonna end up getting fat and very sick and unhealthy. People are finally celebrating medium and small girls and people who occasionally get roles, but fat people are still getting the short end of this movement. Well, because being fat is not healthy, uh, okay? It's just not... I, I've been fat, okay? I lost 70 pounds. I know what it's like to be a little bit fatter, to be, to be a little bit more unhealthy. Uh, Lizzo went on to explain that the body, body positivity movement was created by big women, big brown and black women, queer women, and that they are not benefiting from the mainstream success. Being fat is not successful. You are actually destroying yourself, and if you're implementing that message to those around you, you're also destroying them, so not good, not great advice. If you go on her Instagram, if you go on a lot of girls' Instagrams, a lot of people's Instagrams, you'll you'll see stuff like this. Like, oh, look at me, I'm, I'm huge, and that's something to be celebrated. No, it's not, actually. 
you're getting bagels in the morning and thinking that's okay. Our bodies are none of your business. I'm not going to curse because YouTube doesn't like us anyway. Our bodies are none of your business. Well, it's not our business. It's your business. And you need to take control of yourself. Because if a lot of people follow this kind of crap, then you're going to end up sick. And you're going to not know why. You're going to wake up every day feeling sick and you're not going to know... How come I'm feeling so tired today? Oh, let me just go to McDonald's breakfast real quick before work because I'm rushing around and I didn't plan out my week and prep meals. When she says, you know, our bodies are none of your business, but, you know, she, it's going to become her business to the fact that she promotes being overweight, being obese, and then, which then in turn, be, her followers of this movement will then become a statistic to those deaths that we talked about earlier in this video. And then it, those deaths are on her until she eventually goes too. You know, like all of us, yes, all of us are going to die. All of us, you know, we're all going to eventually die. It's all up to us what we do with our lives, right? But do we really want to, you know, gain enormous amount of weight and be on those thousand pound shows that are on TV? Like, no. Do you really want to do that? Do you really want to be that way? Do you want to lay in bed? all day and can't move because you you ate so much that you just you just can't like do any normal bodily function like does that feel like a good idea i don't think so i honestly feel like going out and being active and eating right eating correctly is the best way but also eating correctly in a way where you're not just just trying to be super strict on yourself where you can have some fun and have some, you know, be creative with the ways you eat and the things that you, then, you know, the things that you like to eat. Eating a bagel, you know, is something that, you know, you probably shouldn't do every single day of your life because you're going to end up becoming a statistic of this, of the obesity epidemic. You're, you know, you're not going to be super, you know, big and muscular and, you know, have a six pack just because you eat bagels. Like, that's not, that's not how that works. If you eat right and you eat healthy foods, you know, if you have a bagel one day, you know, it's not going to, kill you but you need to make sure that you have the mindset where you're not going to just go oh i had a bagel t i had a bagel today i'm thinking i'm gonna have a bagel tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day no don't do that that is that's where you go down to the, and become a statistic we don't I need just that. Noticed that her name is lizzo be eating so <laughs> not good Oh, Guys, no. don't listen to this stuff please just don't do it you need to find out what lifestyle works for you that's not this just not this no but guys, basically, the obesity epidemic is the biggest one that we're facing right now. And we need to really look into it and really start changing our lifestyles. If you're waking up every day and you're feeling horrible, you need to look in the mirror and think, what am I doing wrong and how can I fix it? You need to find a solution for yourself and find a new lifestyle and stop eating all this mainstream garbage that's being fed to you every single day. It's just poisoning you. Yeah. If we don't got time. You only got one life. We don't got time to be poisoned by this crap. So there's that. So if you guys like this content, hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well, and you can see when we come out with new content, we got a lot of good stuff coming for you in the future, so stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next video. With you.